I think it's safe to say that with the 2024 rules update, sorcerers are going to be even more popular than ever. Let's talk about one of their most core features, meta magic, because some things got better, but not everything. There's some there's some things we got to talk about. At its core, metamagic largely functions the same, it's just basically each option is a cool thing that you can do to a spell that you normally can't. Wizards will be jealous of you still because you can twin something, do something as a bonus action, all those kinds of things are still in place, but overall, you're going to get access to more options. You still get two options at level 3, but now instead of getting one option at level 10 and one option at level 17, you get two options at level 10 and two options at level 17. One thing I kind of wonder is why not just break that up into four steps of getting one, but I don't know, I guess this still works, still more. We're going to go through this list alphabetically, starting with Careful Spell. Largely, this functions the same. You can still protect allies in a blast radius if you're doing Burning Hands, Thunder Wave, Fireball, Vitriolic Sphere, whatever you're doing, you can actually create a pocket of safety around a number of targets or creatures equal to your Charisma modifier. That is all the same. What's different is, now instead of just forcing them to save, you actually can protect them from taking damage entirely. So effectively, this really is like the Evoker's Sculpt Spells feature. So, sorry Evokers, uh, every sorcerer can do what you can and it just costs one sorcery point to do so. Careful spell, got buffed. Continuing on alphabetically, Distant spell, empowered spell, and extended spell, they work the same, so you can actually watch our old video if you want to know what I think about that. Moving on to heightened spell, I've got good news for you sorcerers, it doesn't suck anymore. So the old way, the core of it really is that you would impose disadvantage on a saving throw that a target would have to make because you cast a spell on it. That used to cost three sorcery points and it only worked on that first saving throw. The new way costs two sorcery points instead of three, and it works for every saving throw that that target is going to make. So not just the first one, but also the subsequent ones. So now when you look at a spell like a hold person or a slow, any of these kinds of spells that are going to allow a creature to continue to try and just break free of it, yeah, it's got disadvantage on every single saving throw it's going to make. This is a massive change. It's massively powerful, and when you apply it to something like Counterspell, yeah, that's gonna work a lot for Sorcerers, and I think, especially for these, if you go into the Sorcerer thinking you're gonna be like that controller, that debuffer, that really, like, I'm gonna just, just wreck the action economy of your enemies, how is the Sorcerer not the most powerful caster in the game? Should they be? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Next up, we have my personal favorite meta magic option, Quicken Spell. It's basically the same. It's two sorcery points, cast a regular spell that's an action, now is a bonus action, but they just added a few clarifications to avoid rules exploits so you're not casting multiple spells that would normally cost a spell slot in the same turn. I think that's good to clarify. I think that's never a bad thing to do, but largely it's the same and largely it's still fantastic. Now we come to Seeking Spell, which is exactly the same. It's just in the player's handbook now, instead of just in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. It's nice. One sorcery point. Reroll an attack. That's useful. Okay, I don't want to be too loud or noticeable with this next one. I want to be subtle with Subtle Spell. And the core of this is still the same, but it, it got buffed. It got better. And that's a good thing, because it keeps in line with the core of the spell. Now instead of not needing to do verbal or somatic components, you also don't need material components unless they have a cost associated with them. I think this is good. And now we come to Transmuted Spell, which is exactly the same, except for they capitalize the damage types, like Acid, Cold, Fire, Lightning, Thunder. I think, I think that's all of them. Yeah, pretty sure. But yeah, you can do Thunderball. Fire, Bolt. That's a bad example. There's a cantrip called Firebolt. Lightning Splash. You could do that. That'd be weird. The last meta magic no longer has the classic two for one sale. Twin Spell is probably the most different out of any of the meta magics. 
the previous version, if you were going to twin haste, haste is a level three spell, you'd need three sorcery points and you could target two creatures. Very simple, very straightforward, extremely powerful. And actually a lot of things got broken because of it. The new change works like this. When you cast a spell such as charm person that can be cast with a higher level spell slot to target an additional creature, you can spend one sorcery point to increase the spell's effective level by one. Basically, this is just another path to target additional creatures with spells that are already designed to do that. So, Charm Person, like the example, Fly, Invisibility, these are the kinds of spells now that instead of using higher level spell slots, you can just use a sorcery point. I guess in that way, it in a way, the spells that it still works on, it got buffed. But you can't use it on as many. What do you think about Twin Spell? Overall, I think the changes to Metamagic are good. I think it's fair to say that Metamagic and by extension Sorcerers got buffed. They clarified some things to kind of keep in line with the heart and rules of, as intended when it comes to these things. And I always think that's a good change. But I want to know, did your favorite Metamagic option receive any changes? And if so, let me know what you think about it. And, and while you're down there, you know, you could do things like hit the like button, subscribe. You can tell me how handsome I am. You can do all these kinds of things. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and use three emojis to represent your favorite meta magic. That's, that's always a fun game. <laughs> Take care, everybody.